Hello everyone, I'm Jamal and welcome to my 10th Pascal tutorial. Inside this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use procedures. So first when I open Pascal, create a new source file and for this I'm going to write program and I'm going to call it name and age. So, what a procedure is, is kind of like a mini program that will run inside, alongside the main program. So we're just going to write procedure, we're not going to put anything inside this procedure yet, but we're just going to start off, and for this one, I'm going to call this one name. So whatever you put after the procedure, and before the semicolon will be read as the name, but space won't because then we're going to write begin end and a semicolon it's a semicolon because you only use a full stop end when it's the end of the main program but this isn't the end of the main program at, at the moment so it's going to write now we're going to write the main program so I'm going to write begin end to a full stop then now we need a way of running this procedure. So if you were to run a procedure, you literally just write its name in. So the name of this one is name. And what this is just saying is start the main program and run this procedure. But this this procedure is currently empty. So now we're gonna ask the user to enter the name. So we're write right line. And say please enter your name. And then I'm gonna read line this as name one. And there's a couple of different ways you could use variables, but the one like when you're using procedures, but um one we're gonna be using is the normal one which would be var like outside of the procedure and inside the main program so the var name one is a string because other ways that you could do it, write a procedure it could be inside a procedure and you put it like above the begin like you would with the main program and you just write name one there But if you do it this way, then this variable only counts for inside this procedure. So if you want to use that inside another procedure, which we're going to be doing, it won't be able to read the variable that's collected here in the other one. So we want to keep this in the main program. So everything underneath it, so all of this, can use this one variable. So now we're going to write the the next procedure to output the data that we just collect from the first procedure. So we're going to write procedure, and then I'm going to I'm going to call this one using name. And we'll write begin, end. And to make sure we can use this procedure, we're just going to call it using name. Now uh, inside this one, we just want to display the variable we collected from this one. So we want to write right line, and your name is, and make sure you put space after the is. So when it, because if if you don't, when it's entering the name in and you enter it on the, the terminal it will display it as your name is Jamar like that or whatever your name is but you, if you put the space in after the is it will also read that as right, it will display that as a space now all we need to do is 
add the variable to the sentence, so we're going to put a comma to separate from the main text, so we're going to put name1 and close this off and put a read line and we're going to run this just to test it so I'm going to call this using name and age So as you can see, it automatically just runs the first procedure. So I'm going to enter my name in. There you go, your name is Jamal. Now we're going to add the second procedure in. So we're just going to write underneath these ones, we'll put procedure, and we'll call this one age. Then we'll put begin and semicolon and we'll make we'll make the next one straight away so we'll just do procedure and we'll call using age begin and end and the variable we're going to be using for this is age one. So it's going to be pretty much exactly the exact same as the first one, but as you know, it will be the exact same as the first one. So we're just going to do a right line. Please enter your age. I'm going to put read line. I'm going to put age one. And then we're going to output this one now. So we're going to do right line. And we'll just put ur. Make sure you put the space after r. Then I'm going to write age one. Then put another comma. Then put years old. And then, and then we have to put the apostrophes again, and then write years old. You can put a full stop if you want. Then I just, just want to put a read line to keep the window open. And then this will do the exact same as the first one, but this will just write out your age instead. But we'll add in one more procedure, which is just going to write both of them out as a line in a sentence. So I'm just going to show you something new, which is going to be under program, I'm going to write double tap, I'm going to write uses, I'm going to write CRT. What this use, uh, let, uh, allows you to do is like you can change the color of the text, you can add background, and you can clear the screen. It, it lets you uh, like pretty much interact with the screen. And you can make it uh, more aesthetic. So what we, all we're going to be using this for is clearing the screen. So under this procedure, I'm going to put CLR. SDR and what this means is clear screen and then we're going to add another procedure in I'm going to call this using both and put begin end semicolon and all you're going to do here is write right line And 
put hello so a space after it then a comma and then write age one then another comma then I'm going to do apostrophes you are space, make sure there's a space after R and then do another comma and I'm going to do age one And make sure the window stays open when it's going to put a read line underneath. And I'm going to test this all out now. After we've input it into the main program. Right, using both. And then underneath the using age, I'm just going to put right line. I'm going to do press enter to uh, display both. Or to, uh, to display both your name and age. Now we're going to compile this. I didn't put the the two procedures in, so we need to add these in if you haven't already done it. So age and using age. Now we're going to compile it, and it should all work. And right, Jamar. Press enter. And put seventeen. I didn't put a space before years, it's put all next to each other. Now I'm just going to, the next one should work. So press enter and display both. So I put age one instead of name one. Make sure you put a space after, before you and before years. And then it'll separate. It'll make sure there's a space between between and after each of your variables. So we write again. So your name is Jamal. I'm seventeen. And we press enter. Hello, Jamal. You are seventeen.